Uh, hello Chris, this is David. I wanted to come and give you another update on your home. I know that you just saw the video yesterday. Hopefully I might be able to see a little bit more details. So it's coming along very well. Of course there's going to be some things that need to be done. I see like a piece of that screen looks like it's been damaged. All that stuff will be caught during the walkthrough. Um, if the walkthrough takes place when I'm on my deer hunt, um, I wanted to hear from you whether or not you thought you were going to be able to make it down or not. Um, otherwise, we might want to postpone it until I get back. I'll be back on the on the 23rd. Of course, we're running up to Christmas right away. Here's your privacy fence. So, regardless, we'll work it out. It's gonna it's gonna be ready to close here pretty soon. Pretty soon. There's some little detail work that still needs to be done. But all this stuff can be done very, very quickly. Like these, uh, like this Cat5 connection that's here. And they have these holes where they ran that Cat5. Those will be patched and fixed in a matter of hours. And they usually don't put in the appliances until it's zero dark 30, you know, right at the, the last minute. Same thing with the, same thing with the um, sod. Here's your backyard. And your fence, your covered patio. View. I like the color of your granite, the backsplash, the cabinets, it all goes well together. Your pantry even has a light inside, which is nice. Good sized laundry room. I think it doubles as a laundry room slash mud room. Yeah, because here's your here's your garage. And you see that black, let me zoom in on it a little bit. You see that black loop right there? Uh, let's see if I can get my finger. That black loop right there, that's for a water softener. I don't know what your water is like in Canada, but here in the South, uh, Texas, we're known for having hard water, and that hard water will affect your skin, your hair, your glasses, your toilets, your water heater. Um, so one of the things you gotta consider is getting a good uh, quality water softener. Um, there are some that Home Depot sells. I don't know how good they are. I've heard mixed reviews on them. Um, but definitely shop around. I can give you some that I, re that I recommend, but you could probably, you know, get quite a few estimates if you look around. A half bath. So when you come upstairs, you come to this big open loft or landing or, you know, just a big multi-purpose room. This will be your access to your attic. Here's one bedroom. Pretty good sized rooms.
Here's the common area bathroom for upstairs. Plenty of room if uh, you needed to put, you know, a couple of twin size beds or even even a king size bed will fit in pretty much any of these rooms. Of course, usually it's you know full or twin or queen for these secondary bedrooms. Some stuff still needs to be done, but again, like the door jam here and. Just different touch-ups, but this stuff goes by very, very fast. Here's the primary bedroom. This is nice. A little, a little niche for computer, a little office niche. And, uh, walk-in closet with three levels of rods obviously you could add more or what some people will do is they'll add like an island cabinet right here in the middle um, lots of different opportunities this is texas a lot of people get gun safes you know so just options are all yours Here's a separate tub and shower. Double vanity. Lots of nice windows, nice lighting, a double doors. Nice touch. This is that screen that I was showing you downstairs. It looks a little torqued. <clears throat> but normally, um, all the builders are very, very cooperative. They want their clients happy. So they'll take care of anything. It needs to be done. This handrail right here, more than likely, is going to get painted white. Of course, it's solid. Looks like solid oak to me, so if you ever wanted to strip it and stain it, you know what it, it's made of underneath. Here's your doorbell. walk-in coat closet not walk-in but a coat closet as you walk in and here's your front patio it's not normal that you have like a an exterior ceiling fan on the front patios some people do add the exterior ceiling fans for the back but you got plenty of room for some pots and a welcome mat and maybe a couple of chairs or some more potted plants. Driveway doesn't have too big of a slope to it. And this neighborhood is, it's kind of hidden, which is kind of neat. Um, you'll go through a older residential area and then turn in and then you'll, you'll see your subdivision in there. You could probably look it up on Google Maps you wanted to but there you go it is coming along very well